this guide, I'll be showing you guys how to get the best performance out of Arena Breakout Infinite and how to improve your visibility to make opponents easier to see. So let's get into it. Starting off with the game settings, I recommend having a field of view between 87 and 102. Having it too high will make it harder to see opponents, while in a game like Call of Duty, an FOV of 110 to 120 is fine, which is where my FOV is in that game. In Arena Breakout, you'll want it lower as it'll really help you spot players from a distance much easier. Having your FOV too low will make it harder to see anyone around the outer left and right sides of your screen, with the added risk of potentially getting motion sickness. This does depend on the person, but it is possible if your FOV is too low. So speaking of motion sickness, setting your head shake to low is the best option here. Now going into the HUD, we've got two options to change. First, set ADS tips to always hide and raid time remaining to always show. ADS tips to hide will remove clutter from your screen, which is especially important in the game where you need the least amount of distractions. And raid time remaining will help you know how much longer you've got in a raid at all times. Let's move on to the graphics tab. So if you got a 1080p monitor, you want the resolution set to 1920 by 1080. If you got a 1440p monitor, then the resolution will be set to 2560 by 1440. Basically, you don't touch this setting because usually by default, your monitor will be on the right option. Next, you want VSync off as that can overall cause more FPS issues and that's what I've noticed in most games. Resolution sampling type you'll want on DLSS as that usually runs the best for most systems. Now, if you've got a 4090, then most likely you don't need DLSS on as you'll get the best clarity without it. If you do find you still have FPS issues, then turning on DLSS is what you'll want to do. Overall, DLSS is tailored for the 20, 30, and 40 series cards if you're going to be choosing a resolution type. Now, screen mode depends on if you alt tab a lot. If you don't really alt tab a lot, then full screen is recommended as that can fix input lag issues if you do encounter them. But if you don't have any sort of input lag issues and you do alt tab a lot, then I do recommend setting it to windowed full screen. Max FPS, keep on at 240. Although once again, if you've got input lag issues, then set it to your monitor's refresh rate. So if you've got a 144 hertz monitor, then set it to 144. If that still doesn't fix your input lag issues, then what you're going to want to do is go in game, look at what FPS you can hold 90% of the time without dropping under it, and then set that to your max FPS. This will usually do the trick. Moving on to the detailed settings. So right off the bat, the settings you want to keep on high for a good balance between FPS and quality are view distance, shadow quality, anti-aliasing, and vegetation quality. View distance should be kept on high at all times as it'll allow you to see your opponents from farther distances, which is insanely important in a game like Arena Breakout Infinite. Now, shadow quality will add a 3D-ish outline effect to players, making them easier to spot. You'll typically lose around 10 FPS with this setting on high, so if you don't have the greatest PC, then set your shadows to medium. Anti-aliasing will make your game less blurry in the distance and easier to see. Vegetation quality will improve the quality of the environment, making trees and grass less blurry. All four of these settings on high work in tandem to help you spot players much easier. If you aren't able to run all these settings on high, then I recommend only having view distance on high if you're going to only be choosing one option. All right, now with the rest of the settings, you'll want to set them all to medium if you're going for more FPS as the main focus. As long as you've got view distance, shadows, anti-aliasing, and vegetation on high, then you've got 80% of the quality in check. If you have a solid PC, then setting everything on high is my overall recommendation as it'll be easier to see throughout the whole map just a little bit more. Now, compared to other games, the FPS impact on Arena Breakout from medium to high is very minimal with DLSS on. All right, very quickly going over the sound settings, I'm not going to explain them in detail, but master volume is maxed out, UI volume is on 14, spatial audio is on, which will make it easier to hear where footsteps are coming from around you, SFX volume is on 60, BGM aka music volume is on 0, mic volume is on 50, and voice volume, which is teammates microphone volume, is on 30. And voice mode is on press to talk, which just means I need to click a button on my keyboard or mouse in order to use my microphone. Moving on to the post-processing settings, now these settings are just as important as the graphics settings, if not even more. I have brightness on 1.05, you just want to slightly up it. Saturation on 1.12, having the saturation too high will make the game very red and just not pleasant to look at. I'd recommend keeping it anywhere from 1.07 to 1.16 at the maximum. Now this next option is a game changer. The lower your contrast is, the easier you'll be able to see inside buildings. Here's a comparison on how much easier it is to see players with a 0.55 contrast setting. So I recommend having the contrast either at 0.55 or 0.60. This will be the sweet spot where it'll brighten up the inside of dark spots, but also not wash out the environment outside where it's already bright. And lastly, we've got sharpness at one. I recommend keeping it at one or even zero, no matter if you've got medium or high settings. Higher than one would be too sharp, but depending on your monitor settings, you might like it more sharp. Mainly the contrast is the game changer setting here. Well guys, that is it for this guide. If you want to see more Irene and Breakout Infinite videos, let me know in the comments below. Lastly, make sure to follow me on Twitch as I'll be streaming a bunch of Arena Breakout really soon, and I'll definitely have a ton of tips
tips and tricks live on Twitch. If this guy did help out, then a like and a sub would be greatly appreciated as it does help me out. Anyways, guys, hope you have a great rest of your days and nights, and I'll see you on the next one.